So radiation safety is integral in your oral exam because you are proving that you are safe as a clinical medical physicist. You aren't going to harm anyone and understanding the standards of radiation protection are very important in doing that. So let's discuss what an RSO does and when you as a physicist would contact one. What does the NRC require from radiation facilities? what license adjustment needs regulatory approval, and what you do if you receive an HDR package and it is either damaged or leaking. And so an RSO, so that is a radiation safety officer. Essentially, they are going to establish a RAD safety program. They're going to identify problems. They're going to recommend actions. They're going to keep the records of the licenses, a AMP, an authorized medical physicist, and authorized users ensure that they not only exist, but they are following the rules. They are going to ensure that the breaky source storage is up to code and safe, and then ensure that the equipment functionality is up to par as well. So when would you as a physicist contact one? So First of all, if a medical event occurs, then you definitely need to contact your RSO. When HDR operates ab abnormally and doesn't happen, I don't think I've ever heard of it happening, but if it ever did, you do need to let them know. And then of course, potentially push patients back, ensure that that system is as safe as possible. Any type of radiation spills, then they will come, not only will they assist, but they will do the documentation and ensure it is handled properly. Any type of emergency, they also need to be notified of that. So now what does NRC require from radiation facilities? I did cover this a bit more in detail in a previous video, but for now, quickly, they must I guess NRC wants you and requires you to follow ALARA so as low as reasonably possible or allowable for all staff for brachytherapy. You have to have an appointed qualified RSO. You must have a radiation safety committee. You must have quality management programs. And there's an entire list on 10 CFR 35 Take a look at that, review the previous video I did, and that will get you up to snuff on what the NRC requires of you. Now, what license adjustments need regulatory approval? So some things you can add or change and you don't need to go through an RSO, you don't need to go through the state, you don't need to do much more paperwork, but other things are a bit bigger of a deal. And those are as follows. One, if you have a new nuclide or isotope that you are using. Two, if you a, have a change or a just a different appointed RSO. If you have a new chief physicist, because they need to be on the license, and of course they have the administrative duties. And then if there is a, how to word it, place of use change. I'll put it that way. So for example, if you have brachytherapy in one remote office, but you're going to bring it to your main office, the fact you're doing HDR in a different location that needs to be made and adjusted on the license. And then finally, what do you do if an HDR package is damaged or leakage or leaking? Number one, you want to stop the deliverer, whether it was FedEx, UPS, you need to verify that they are not contaminated, that the truck is not contaminated, and just use your Geiger counter, use your ion chamber. You want to secure the package. You want to also notify the NRC, notify NRC. You also want to notify the vendor, of course and then contact your RSO, and then potentially decontaminate. Hopefully, there's not much to decan, wow, decontamination, if any, but if there is contamination, you need to take care of it, and that's where your RSO and your radiation safety officers would take care and help you with it. So 
this is a broad overview. There's a lot of questions they can ask in just this one video, and they the examiners may nitpick and dive deeper into any one of these questions, honestly. But it gives you an idea what you need to know, what maybe to dive a little bit more into, and really know how your department works. When you use real life examples, and you can say, my clinic in our RSC, we have this, and this is one we've contacted the RSO. That is going to serve you incredibly well and set you up for success in your exam. If you have any questions, comment below. Thank you for watching and best of luck.